It's 3.41 a.m. and Cecilia awakens in the middle of the night. In order to avoid waking up her partner Adrian, Cecilia gets out of bed and goes beneath the bed in search of the pills she stashed there. The movie then shows Cecilia examining the glass of water, implying that she's drugged Adrian in order to keep him asleep. He shifts slightly in his sleep as she exits the bedroom, startling her entirely. She cautiously and quietly makes her way to the dressing room, where she retrieves a duffel bag filled with clothing. She also includes the medicine she stole from her bedside table in the bag. Next, she checks to see if the hallway camera is operational by pointing it at her sleeping spouse. She does this in order to keep an eye on him. She then enters what appears to be a laboratory and turns off all the alarms and cameras in the home. She is so terrified that she walks the house quietly and is alarmed by any noise she makes. She keeps checking her phone to see whether Adrian is still asleep. She swiftly puts on her clothes and leaves the home via the garage. Zeus, a pet dog owned by the couple, follows her outside the home as she leaves and frightens her. The dog is wearing an electric shock collar, which Celia takes off. However, when she does so, she accidentally sets off the car's alarm. As she climbs the fence, it can be seen that the bedroom lights have been turned on from a distance. Running through the woods, she arrives on the road where she waits for her sister Emily to come and pick her up. As she waits for Emily to arrive, she is trembling and terrified. When she finally arrives, she rushes to get into the car, but Adrian unexpectedly bursts in, yelling and pounding on the door. He smashes the door window, but the sisters are able to drive away. As they escape, Adrian finds her diazepam on the ground and picks it up with his bloody hand. Cecilia is now residing at her friend James's home two weeks after the incident. She appears happy and satisfied, yet she still has a fear of going outside. She is persuaded by James to leave the house and pick up letters from the mailbox. She manages to go out to get the mail, but runs back inside the home when she sees a runner in a hoodie jogging by her. The following day, Cecilia is using her laptop, and James is standing on a ladder and repainting the walls of the house. Celia continues to be terrified that Adrian might be spying on her and covers the laptop camera. Suddenly, the doorbell rings and James answers the door. It is Emily. James invites her in, but Celia is not pleased to see her since she believes Adrian may be watching Emily and may have followed her to James's house. But Emily has some breaking news. She shows Celia a newspaper article reporting Adrian's death. Cecilia begins telling Emily and James about how he would manipulate and abuse her. She reveals to them that she wasn't simply physically abused, and that Adrian would control her appearance, opinions, and thoughts. The next day, Cecilia feels much more at ease leaving the house now that she is aware Adrian is no longer alive. She retrieves the letters from the mailbox. James and his daughter Sydney praise her bravery and encourage her efforts. As James goes through the letters, he tells Cecilia that one of them is addressed to her. The letter outlines Adrian's final wishes and will. Emily and Cecilia head to the legal firm where Adrian's brother Tom, a lawyer, is also present. As Tom reads Adrian's will, he reveals that Adrian has left Cecilia $5 million with the proviso that she never faces criminal charges or is labeled as mentally unstable. Cecilia is happy now that she's gotten rid of Adrian and thanks James and Sydney for their generosity. She does so by opening an account in Sydney's name to fund her desire to enroll in a fashion school, as well as buying James a larger ladder to help him with his home renovation. Sydney thanks her and the group begins to dance and celebrate. Later that evening, when Cecilia enters her room, she gets the impression that someone is watching her. The following morning, James asks her to wake Sydney up before he leaves for work. The stove is still on when she goes to wake her up. Sydney wakes up, but the two are surprised to see that the stove is on fire. They are able to put out the flames though. Cecilia, who is still shaken from the morning experience, is sitting by herself on the sofa when she notices something odd and gets up to investigate. She searches the house, but doesn't find anyone. When she goes to check the entrance door, nobody is there. But this is where we see a breath near her while she is outside. Cecilia and Sydney are sound asleep that exact same night when their blanket is removed by something. The room's lights also start to flicker. When Cecilia awakens, she believes she has seen someone in the room, but it is actually Sydney's mannequin. She then picks up the blanket off the floor and certain that someone is sitting in the chair, she throws it there. However, despite her fear, no one is actually present. She then picks the blanket from the floor, but it doesn't move. 
She believes someone is standing on the blanket as she stares at it. She then calls for James and wakes Sydney as she calls him. James runs to the room, but when neither he nor Sydney discovers anybody inside, James tells Cecilia to stop panicking and stop thinking about Adrian because he is gone. She gets a job interview the next day. At first, the interviewer flirts with her, but when he notices that it's distressing her, he stops and requests to see her work. To her amazement, when Cecilia opens her portfolio to show her work, it isn't there. She becomes frightened by this and collapses in a panic. While James is waiting for the doctor to arrive at the hospital, the doctor arrives and advises him to hold off until the lab results are received. The doctor calls Cecilia once the lab results are in and inform her that the reason she fainted was due to the high doses of diazepam in her system. Shocked at the discovery, she goes into the bathroom and finds the bottle of diazepam with a bloody handprint on it. It was the same bottle that Cecilia had used to drug Adrian, and which Adrian had later picked up off the road the night she had escaped. James goes with Cecilia when she meets Tom. Tom rejects her theory that Adrian staged his death and used his ability in optics to become invisible in order to harm her when she tells him about the bloody bottle she discovered in her bathroom. Tom proves to her that Adrian is in fact dead by showing images of Adrian's dead body. He also claims that he was also relieved to learn of his brother's passing. Cecilia visits Emily, but is greeted rudely because Emily is enraged about the email she allegedly received from her earlier. Cecilia had apparently sent Emily an email with mean things written in it. Cecilia informs her that it was Adrian, not her, who had sent the email. Before closing the door on her, Emily informs her that she doesn't believe her and to get help. Later, when Cecilia checks her email, she discovers the email that was sent from her account to Emily. Cecilia starts crying on the floor when Sydney enters the room. But as she is consoling Cecilia, she is suddenly struck by an invisible force. She calls for her dad and James and Sydney leave her there all alone since they believe Cecilia tried to harm Sydney and is getting unstable. Cecilia makes many attempts when she is by herself at the house to apprehend the person she thinks struck Sydney. She has some inkling that Adrian is the culprit behind these actions. She calls for him. She spreads coffee powder in one of the rooms and sits on the floor opposite the door, expecting Adrian's footsteps to show as he tries to approach her. She has an idea. She thinks of calling Adrian and is surprised to hear his phone ringing in the attic. She then goes into the attic to look for his phone. She calls the phone once again and goes in the direction of the ringing where she finds his phone and gets a text saying, surprise. She also finds his keys, her portfolio, and a knife in the attic. She then hears a noise behind her and chases it. When Cecilia pours paint down the attic trap door, it coats a figure that was previously invisible. The figure attacks her violently but manages to flee after battling for her life. In order to investigate, she is able to get an Uber and arrives at Adrian's house. She asks the driver to wait for her. Zeus follows her as she enters the home. She enters Adrian's lab and approaches a machine. As she gets closer, she realizes that this is the machine that manufactures Adrian's invisible bodysuits. Later, she discovers a second invisible bodysuit, proving her suspicions. Zeus's barking alerts her that someone else is at the house too. The invisible figure attacks her once more immediately, after she places the suit in the wardrobe of their previous bedroom. But she escapes and gets in touch with Emily. When Cecilia and Emily meet, she is anxious and nervously looking at the vacant chair, believing Adrian is seated on it. When Emily gets there, she tells her what she found at Adrian's house. As they are talking, a knife starts to float in the air, and the invisible figure slits Emily's throat and hands Cecilia the knife, accusing her of killing Emily. Cecilia is promptly brought to a psychiatric hospital. She finds out she's pregnant while she's awaiting trial. Tom visits her at the hospital and suggests she return to him, thereby revealing that he helped orchestrate his brother's He promises to get the accusations against her dismissed and suggests she go back to Adrian and take care of the child. He claims that Adrian had switched her birth control pills to get her pregnant. Cecilia declines his offer and steals a pen from him. She makes an attempt to take her life that evening and draws the figure out. When the figure tries to stop her, she repeatedly stabs him with the pen, breaking the suit. When the security team arrives, the figure attacks them before leaving the hospital. Cecilia pursues it. The figure instead vows to attack people she loves instead of her. When Cecilia arrives at James's home, she discovers the figure harming both James and Sydney. She shoots the figure with a gun, but discovers that Tom is wearing the suit and not Adrian. 
Police burst into Adrian's home and discover him inside, still alive and bound. He alleges Tom was holding him captive. They come to the conclusion that Tom also murdered Emily. But Cecilia thinks Adrian made his brother the scapegoat for his own crimes. Cecilia is finally freed of all charges. She arrives at Adrian's home wearing a wire in order to obtain his confession, while James keeps an earpiece on him from a few streets away. She agrees to get back with him if he admits to murdering Emily. Adrian believes that Tom was at fault, but he says the incident transformed his perspective on life and the way he treated her. Cecilia fakes being emotional and goes to clean herself in the washroom. Adrian is seen on the surveillance video appearing to cut his own neck a short while afterward. After returning, Cecilia contacts 911 and seems upset. She mocks Adrian as he bleeds while she is hidden from the camera, implying that she killed him with the extra bodysuit. Cecilia verifies what the camera saw when James gets there, and we see her carrying the extra bodysuit in her handbag.